everyone the sign man lies this back with more twin mirror all right let's investigate man my memory ends here but there's two glasses who was here with me indeed indeed that's the question on my own and someone approached me I can't remember who it was but I know we got into a fight obviously if I figure out how the fight went I should figure out who my assailant was white So I guess we'll check here then. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall person thrown into the pillar would do it. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. Well, who was sitting next to him then? Must have been Dennis. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. The pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. Joel's cap. Maybe he provoked me again after I'd had a few. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. What then? One hell of a mess. This could definitely be the result of two people fighting. The jukebox is not in the same place. Maybe it was involved in the fight somehow. It looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. I have the complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch? Oh, get him, man. Get him. Holy moly. Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. The 
Not here. Sam. Meet me later at the Sam. Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and oh, then broke leave, it. Leave. I don't have time to lose explaining myself to Ethan. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? Ask around, see if anyone's seen Dennis today. Maybe see if anything jogs my memory. I've heard worse plans. But Dennis is oh, I bet Dennis is dead. Small. If Dennis came through Main Street, someone saw him. Can we go in here? No, doesn't look like it. Now doesn't seem like the best time to bother her. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah, I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. <laughs> I heard you asking about my dad last night. Careful about listening to other people's conversations. Some find it rude. And everyone should talk quieter. <laughs> That's what I always say. Ever consider being a reporter when you grow up? Hmm, thought about it, but that's not what I want to do. Did you find out anything about my dad? Not yet. Not really, at least. Let me know if you find anything, please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place, it feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe, I can't think, I can't stand my mom. I don't like school, well, except for science. And just, when I imagine myself in the future, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see this place or these people. I'm somewhere else, anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just, it's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well, that other stuff sounds okay, though. 
Thanks for listening. I got grown up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So we're both busy. It's tough seeing her like this. Seems she got older by six years and just two. I'll be fine. Just waiting for my mom's shift to end. Normally I'd be with my dad, but you know. A statue honoring miners. Pretty meaningless now. Religion's kind of like genetics. If your parents had it, you probably do too. Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answering. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well... Everything has to look its best for today, especially the miner. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. And that matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? I don't know. How many? Three. One to replace the light bulb, two to complain about how the old one was better. You ever find yourself like that? Mourning the past? Sometimes. But I ain't like folks around here. I made my peace. The mine's not coming back. Don't mean we let our statues turn to rust. So, you still want to hear the story? Might as well. I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, Back a hundred years ago, you'd be safer in the trenches than down in the mines. You didn't sit right with our boys. They demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations being what they are refused. And sent strike breakers. The mine wars. Miners came out in force. Union men. Met the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. Ten thousand strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas round their necks for solidarity. Brotherhood. At least a hundred men died in that battle. Blood spill for what we have now. I'm guessing you're fond of that story, huh? A lot of respect for rednecks. Well... Things were tough, but we were a united community back then. Anyway, I get back to it. Gonna give her a real spit shine. You take care now. Sorry, I really need to finish this. These old hands can't be idle. Never forget, huh? This is new. Domations. Now that's the bass what I remember. Drowned six men. Basswood's mining started with an accident. Fitting. Wait, let's go talk to this guy. Losing his legs seemed like the end of him, but he bounced back. And he's a rock.
Joe. Sam? You old bridge jump by you been. What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. I heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble. <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. Yeah, cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Wait, who's Someone Dustin? Someone must have seen him after the fight. Who will know? I don't imagine Walter had obituaries in mind when he became editor-in-chief. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse, y'all. Somehow, I don't think the town's recent history will be included. Fine with me. She pulls the look off a lot better than I could. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I suppose I grew up here. Been gone for a couple of years. I'm not staying long. When you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. <laughs> what then? Perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you have to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. 
Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It could get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. Oh, so he doesn't know where Dennis is either. Who knows? No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. Let's go into the shop, shall we? Have we been here yet? Can we go in there? Does it not like it? Can't go in there, can we? No, we can't go in there. Right, let's go in the shop, shall we? There we are. Yo, get out the way. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough. <laughs> that was rude, wasn't it? Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Hiking is an activity best done alone on a Sunday afternoon. Bug made that for Mother's Day years ago, and Kathy still keeps it with her. Still here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood, but never liked it. He looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Right before we talk to him, let's go have a look around first. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you. It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. Why not ask the pharmacist? And let him know I might have something like that? <laughs> you, he's basically a stranger. Look, have you seen Dennis? I saw him yesterday. We exchanged pleasantries. At the wake? Oh, I saw you too. 
Given his condition yesterday, he might have come in here. You walloped him. Why not ask the pharmacist? I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Mm, was it? Man, no one seems to like this guy. Wonder why they hate him so much. Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. <laughs> Reminds me of a girl I met. She could only eat chips when she had stomach aches. What are those chocolate bars? Look nice. Right, let's go talk to this guy. Who talks to me, man? Talk to me. Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly, <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Honestly, I don't remember last night. You saw me blackout drunk. Not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. <laughs> How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. A pill pusher who doesn't want to push pills. That's a new one. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask. Why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink, and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. No, oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Always get out of there. No one knows where Dennis is.
Okay, let's go into the other shop. Up around here. And see if they know anything. Help an old doddering woman. You know, if you carry fewer things, you tend to not drop as much. You haven't changed a smidge, have you? Now, man. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Buck? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic Tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh, well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am going to be an entomologist. I'm going to study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this! No matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh, dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and, well, far from me to criticize... What should I do? What should I do? Should I ask? Oh. These last few months, I'll just Kathy listen, shall we? There, if you know what I mean. Hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time. Ah, uh, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. 
Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? It's been, well, you know cruise control? I've been on cruise control. You might miss it once it's gone. Life rarely lets you coast for long. You look well. I've been better. Hung over this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Anna's here. I should talk to her. Alright guys, this will do it for this part. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and comment and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and help me rise.